my beloved sons and daughters. I re-enter the physical octave through the blessedness of thy being, thy desiring to know the truth, to study the truth, to be the truth. Hail, O thou cosmic Christ. Lo, I am that I am, Maitreya. I call my son, Lords of the seven rays, make thy presence known here. Let the trees, the rock, the frozen earth and stream know the warmth of thy compassionate presence. O oh, my beloved seven, O oh Lord, Thou who art the representative of the Holy Spirit, welcome then and welcome thine own students, for they have truly desired to enter in. Therefore the fount, the golden fount of illumination's flame is seen to dance as flames licking the hillside an aurora of golden light pulsating does create an atmosphere of a sun presence, a sun presence as though the earth were already a sun star, and the indigo blues of the night and the power of the first ray and the sparkling and the bursting of the fireworks within, blessed hearts, it is a celebration of earth by elemental life who come to meet you, to welcome you to their land, their place where they are nurtured by the Divine Mother. And the etheric octave and the retreat of Lady Master Venus does draw nigh as you yourselves have somewhat entered the etheric octave of your being. It is good then to commune in love and to prepare to enter the equations of the teaching of the path. Thereby to be forewarned is to be forearmed, and in being forearmed, beloved, you shall be truly prepared to meet the adversary within and without and to meet me on the way of forest path, mountain fastnesses, and in the heart of the valley and the hearth of home and fire. Welcome ye, welcome all who have determined to gather on the mount. Let those who have come for lesser reasons be purged of their lesser reasons, for I, Maitreya, quicken a golden illumination flame in every heart who has come. This flame might be expanded, else it shall decrease. To increase illumination as illumined action does rid oneself of the grumpiness of human ignorance that stubs its toe or thumb for want of inner equilibrium of illumination's golden plume. The gentleness of those out of the East and those from ancient civilizations is apparent. Now you see in the realm of the second ray so many hearts at so many levels, part of this thought form of the year of the Bodhisattvas, the blessed students and disciples. All then have locked within their hearts the divine image of Buddha. And Buddha, the smiling one, the meditating one, does twinkle his eyes in a merriment then. Do not take yourself too seriously, he says. Do not be too seriously burdened 
with all illusions in the world, though they be strong illusions, it is well to pause to remember they are not real. Nor all the engines of war or rumors thereof, they be not real, but only set in place as props, as bad dreams, that those who see and know reality might draw the sword and pierce that set, that backdrop in life, and in so piercing it, excise all of the poisons and the manipulations of those fallen ones. They cannot stand unless some believe they are real. Thus evil has no permanent reality except the reality given to it. We come as withdrawers. This may be our name. Withdrawers all our aim. Withdraw the light from the fight. There is no fight. Bind the darkness in its way. It cannot hold sway. There is a moment of joy in the release of light from all of your chakras at the point and the place prepared. Blessed hearts, these hordes of darkness do tremble at the gentle footsteps of Lord Confucius, Lord Lanto, and my own presence does cause them to fall back in dismay and faint as the Holy Ghost. May therefore judge them in the presence of the cosmic Christ. They are breathless, for there is no breath of life save that from the Maha Chohan. Wherefore, they have already ruined their breath by noxious weeds of earth. O oh, uncommon light, O oh, uncommon ones, I, Maitreya, salute you. For thou hast come long, long way from the days of Lemuria. Throw off thy weariness in the long trek of thy return. Thou art home. Thou art home in light. And illuminations glow as the fire in the heart of the mountain does set the backdrop for the Buddha of the ruby ray. Look then on inner plain at the mount you have called Himalaya, as though the entire side of the mountain should open as a vast door. And in the heart of the mountain is a blazing illumination's flame, and seated in this flame, beloved, is the transparent Buddha of the ruby ray. How beautiful! And therefore all inside the mountains of earth, those which have been chosen by the gods, there are manifestations of light unknown and unheard of. Yet the waters under the earth and the fires therein, the heat that has been sealed, all these receive the charge and vibration of the holy ones of God. Earth conceived in holiness has been rendered profane by these ones. But we shall endure in holiness and love. I take from you then, if you will release it, wrong desire. I release in you an upward mounting spiral of illumination's flame intertwining with resurrection's flame. Therefore, let all of the energies of thy being mount and rise and spiral in this hour. Welcome to the mystery school called in the outer summit university, but within, beloved, as depicted in the Rorik painting on the covers of the lost teachings. There is that inner gathering there is that inner oneness in the secret place of the rock, in the secret place of the crystal cave, in the inner dwelling place. 
Therefore, enter the chakra of the eighth ray, the eight-petal chakra, secret chamber of the heart, the heart of the mountain, the heart of Himalaya, and know that in planes, slightly above the physical, there are pathways to be entered, and there is a coursing of tunnels and caves and compartments within Earth's crust that have been prepared for thy meditation one upon one with the beloved Buddha. Therefore, I make my trek now to the heart of the inner retreat, physically there and in the etheric Western Shambhala. I bow before the Lord of the world, Gautama Buddha, who welcomes me and all members of this community to an era of enlightenment unprecedented in an era of outer darkness that has not been exceeded. Thus, we keep the home fires burning and the warmth of our love, the kindling fire of our wisdom does return to you, beloved, the spark of the divine consciousness and the divine intelligence, which was thine in the beginning and has atrophied whereby the fullness of its use is not thine own in this hour. I shall seal my delivery with you then by inviting you to decree with me for golden illumination's flame that you might have the momentum of my presence on the path of overcoming. Being the coming Buddha then, I am come into your temple. Just as there is prophesied in the West the second coming of Christ, so there is prophesied in the East the coming of Maitreya. The significance is the descent of the Buddha, who is cosmic Christ, into your heart. It is not delayed, it is ready. I am here, beloved. I would enter. As the chamber is em emptied and then filled again, emptied and then filled again by the fire breath of illumination's flame, know that in your process of processioning through the inner canyons of being, mounting then the spiral staircase to the heart, I am with you, and in a moment of recognition, the divine awareness of we two in the heart of hearts communing. Thus develop the listening ear, the all-seeing eye of God, the sensitivity of touch, and the breathing in of the sacred breath. Develop all senses as spiritual senses, thereby sharpening the outer. And let the fire of the Divine Mother rising consume all unnecessary bag and baggage of a self, a former self, that the self that is yet to be might be entered into and known by the soul. Thus upon you are placed now one and all of this community and those who study with us in this hour. The neophyte's golden robe, a simple natural garment, the color of a golden yellow. Thus wear it with joy on inner levels and be unencumbered by any other necessity of adornment. You will see then at inner levels and on the etheric octave 
devotees of the Buddha. Some of these are out of their body. In hours of sleep, some have risen to the etheric octaves, blessed hearts. Many of the Tibetan Buddhists pause to listen to my message to those of the West. These are disciples who always enter the etheric octave or chambers of the mental belt. They have sustained the pillar of my flame. See what has come upon them, the hordes of night and those who have become so. By the vicious indoctrination of Mao's communism and that even more fanatical than those of the Western communists. Blessed hearts, know then that when the pillar of fire is raised up, there must be an inner chamber and the ability of the soul to rise to the etheric octaves. Thus we count this mystery school as the opportunity of all souls gathered here to master the science of the word and therefore to deliver the death blow and the death knell to every force of evil that has moved against our temples, our mystery schools, and our retreats. For the Lord God himself has decreed, they shall not pass, they shall not pass, rather than the earth itself should not endure, then levels of our disciples again and again be brutalized and massacred, tormented and tortured, and the light put out of our community. Thus from the heart of Alpha, from the heart of the Lord God, is your sign and authority to demand the judgment of all those seed of the wicked embodied in the earth who have persecuted in church and state the children of the sun to be bound and judged by angels of light. This authority to call forth their judgment, beloved, is given to you from your beloved Alpha. Take it then. Have mercy, O God, within you have mercy, O God, within you. Have mercy, O God, within you. For the Tibetans who have held a tradition unto my coming, blessed hearts, see to it that these, these, these shall not have died in vain. And therefore stand in the earth in this hour to redeem their name, their service, and their life by the call of the judgment upon all those who have agreed to their takeover, including those in the United States, the president thereof, and the Department of State. I say that Department of State is also judged, whereupon let the woes be on them and all who are with them in vibration I, Maitreya, say, there is room in the earth for me, thus there is no room for Antichrist. My hand is raised, let your right hand also be raised, and by the power of the great call, let the judgment descend. I decree it once, I decree it twice, I decree it thrice. Let them be bound, and let it be by the fullness of the intensity of the mind of Buddha in all disciples of the light. Therefore, pray with me now for golden illumination's flame to pierce the night of ignorance and quicken hearts to defend their victory. There are those who take their stand to defend freedom. I say, defend your victory in the heart of the cosmic Christ.
please take your decree books. Decree number 20.13. together. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me, holy Christ cells of all Earth's evolutions, beloved Alpha and Omega, beloved Helios and Vesta, beloved great central sun messengers, all cosmic beings, powers, activities, and legions of light, the beloved God and Goddess Meru, and all who serve illumination's flame. Beloved Lanello, the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood and the World Mother. Elemental life, fire, air, water, and earth, I decree. Golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun, expand thy light through me today. Expand thy light through me today. Expand thy light through me today. Golden flame from the central sun. Golden flame from the central sun. Golden flame from the central sun. Transmute all wrong. Transmute all wrong illuminations way. Transmute all wrong illuminations way. Golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun. Direct our youth into action, God's way. Direct our youth into action, God's way. Direct our youth into action, God's way. Golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun. Illuminations flame for air holds sway. Illuminations flame for air holds sway. Illuminations flame for air holds sway. Golden flame from the central sun. Golden flame from the central sun. Golden flame from the central sun. Illumine the earth by Christ's command. Illumine the earth by Christ's command. Illumine the earth by Christ's command. Golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun, golden flame from the central sun. Thy beauteous power I now demand, thy beauteous power I now demand, thy beauteous power I now demand. Take dominion now, to thy light I bow, I am thy dazzling light, golden flame so bright. Grateful for thy ray, sent to me to share. Fill me through and through, until there's only you. I live, move, and have my being within a mighty pillar of illumination's golden flame from the heart of God in the great central sun and my very own individualized mighty I am presence. Beloved Alpha and Omega, Beloved Helios and Vesta, and all who serve God's victorious golden light radiance, which blesses and heals, illumines and seals, me and all mankind, forever in the light of God that never, never, never fails. 2014. Golden Victorious Light. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me, holy Christ cells of all mankind, beloved, mighty victory, beloved Lanello, the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood and the world mother, elemental life, fire, air, water, and earth, I decree. I am the golden, victorious light the full orb flame of illumination from the heart of God that refuses to accept any concept of limitation concerning my eternal reason for being, here and now made manifest in the chalice of the present hour. I am the radiation of that victory which sweeps across the face of the earth, removing barriers by the power of faith 
that will not be denied its immortal birthright. I am the flame of illumination that sweeps all continents, awakening peoples of every walk of life from the lethargy and sleep of the ages to a vital breathing awareness of the wisdom that transcends dogma, sense consciousness, and personality functions, threading the eye of the needle with the thread of light determination, whose sewings upon the garments of the Lord of creation produce elevation, consummation, radiation, purification, and freedom for every man, woman, and child upon this planet. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake, purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake, purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake, purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake, New ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake. Purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake. Purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake. Purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake. Purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake. Purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. O oh, world, awake, your dusty cells now shake. Purify and rectify new ways of thought to make. 2015. Out of the one thou, God, hast spun, all of the races of men, by thy great law do thou now draw all to their God source again. Take away hate, by love abate, all mankind's vicious intent. Show thy great power every hour of love and compassion God sent. I am, I am, I am, divine love sending forth the wonderful feeling of true divine healing Unguents of light now sealing all of the schisms of men. Stop all division by God precision. Love is the hallowed law key. Ultimate peace, make all war cease. Let the children of men now go free. Stop mankind's friction. All their predictions, tearing blessed heart from heart. By God direction, Produce now perfection in thy great family, one heart. And in full faith, I consciously accept this. Manifest, manifest, manifest. And in full faith, I consciously accept this. Manifest, manifest, manifest. And in full faith, I consciously accept this. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Right here and now with full power, eternally sustained, all powerfully active, ever expanding and world unfolding until all are wholly ascended in the light and free. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. Did you hear the affirmation, beloved I am? You are saying, I am beloved of God. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. If I am the beloved of God and you are the beloved of God, then we are one in the divine all. In this oneness of consummate being, no that I shall give thee to drink of the same fount which I gave to Jesus to drink. Therefore, beloved, enter in to the main stream of cosmic life and put behind thee 
the past streams of consciousness that no longer are useful or fruitful. In the heart of the yellow rose, I am and I remain Maitreya, Vajra, Vajra, Vajra. Please join me in the Omahum. Oh. 